right we've just stolen the boss's tesla now this is way cool tesla have written not to me to the boss and don't, they don't know we've got a youtube channel or i'm pretty sure they don't and said hey why don't you try out some of the enhanced autopilot functions we'll give them to you for free so for for um two weeks so we've got till the end of the month to try these out now this is really cool because Land Rover, it's one thing we've decided, you know, we've talked about with Land Rover is they've got the ability to add functionality to your car um, through software over the air, but they won't let you do it. You know, the car has to maintain as built as far as software and functionality is concerned. But, but Tesla are trying it and they're saying, look, try it. And if you like it, pay us some money and you can have the extra functionality because all these Teslas are built eventually they've got all the hardware so they can be self-driving right enough waffling what are we doing today tyler we are doing cruise control cruise control but they call it something we land rover call it adaptive cruise control they call it traffic, traffic aware traffic aware cruise control right so we're in our tesla we are driving along right let's look at this display so this tells us this is we're in a 60 mile an hour limit that's correct this tells us if i activate the cruise control it will go to 60 right and this is the speed we are currently doing now to activate cruise control in the tesla you push this right hand stalk down just give it a little tap down and it will now the trouble is if i do that now it's going to send me going at 60 miles an hour it's going to go whoosh and we are going to go at 60 so if i obviously not instantly but if i do that you can now see it set my speed to go to 60. right now i'm going to cancel that again so i just push it up and it cancels. I could have pushed, I could have pressed the brake, that would also cancel it. So let me just do that again with the brake. It's gonna to go to 60, I've got a junction coming up. I touch the brake, it's now cancelled it. Right, so the way it's configured currently is that the speed limit, the cruise control is set to follow the speed limit. Now, if you fly some controls, I haven't shown you how to do this, but if we press the car, and if you press the autopilot setting there on the left hand menu that's it and then if you just scroll up a little bit see where it says speed limit there tyler yeah. that is what we're currently set to speed limit so we could we could go to current speed so if you just change that to current speed and then when we pull out of this junction here we go let's pull out do, do, do. Right, you see now that it's set to current speed. Now this is actually quite cool because what it means is when I activate cruise control, I don't get this sudden urge, like the cars like zoom in away. It just picks up from where you say, you, you effectively say take over now. Now if I want to adjust the cruise control on the Tesla, so we can just roll this right hand button up. And if I do it slowly, you can see 35, 36, I can go up and down, right. Now, if I roll it up quickly, it will jump in blocks of five. So I've got to be a bit careful because we've got a cyclist ahead. Now, it'd be interesting to see whether the cruise control, so the cruise control is, is on target at the moment. It's going, now what it's doing now, it's slowing down. I'm not touching the brakes or the accelerator. It's spotted the cyclist, you can see him. And this is the adaptive or the traffic aware cruise control element. So it's now just keeping me a safe distance behind. I can indicate, I'm going to accelerate. I can accelerate to take over the control of the car, but as soon as I let off the accelerator, it will get my speed back down to where it left off. Shall I cancel the indicator? Right, so there we go. So, right, let me just demonstrate that increasing this. If I do this up quickly, okay, it should jump in blocks. So it's at 40 now. If I go down, you can see it's jumped straight to 35. I spin it back up again, it goes to 40. So. Uh, that's quite cool. You can adjust your speed quite quickly from the steering wheel. Right, we are heading for the the highway, the dual carriageway. We haven't really got highways around here, have we, Tyler? Um, and we are going to try doing some of that adaptive cruise control behind a vehicle. We've already seen it work with a cyclist, which was way cool. Right. Now let's just, how does this adaptive cruise control work? So it does have a radar and it does have forward facing cameras. Um, so that's what it's using to make itself aware of the surrounding. The cameras are also used to identify the road signs and it also has map data to know the speed limits. So it's working with some cool things there, right? 
I'm going to navigate this roundabout and we're going to do a couple more things. We're going to we're going to look at how we can adjust how closely we follow something and we're also going to see about using the touch screen elements here. So at the moment the grey box you can see that my cruise control is set to my current speed so as soon as I activate by pressing the lever down it's going to just pick up from where I've left off. So let's have a look at that. Okay, oh, we've got some road works and some stuff going on here, Tyler. All right, let's have a look. It's merged out. Right, okay, so I'm going, I'm going to press the cruise control. It's now set. Now, if, say, I wanted to go to the speed limit, I should better just touch the screen here, and you see there, it's changed it to the speed limit. Now, we've got a car in front here, so let's have a look whether it's going to... So my speed is currently limited. Let's put your window up a bit, Tyler. My speed is currently limited by the distance I am to the car in front. So at the moment, I'm a good distance from it. If I want to get a bit closer to him, what I can do is I can move this um, to the right, and you can see there the, the distance or the proximity I am to him changes to four, and I can go down to one. So let's have a look how close I get on one. So actually, I am doing the speed limit now. It can see the cars in front. Now that car's turning off. So I've, it will, just trying to, I need a slow coach to go behind. Unfortunately, I think he's gonna do the speed limit, isn't he, Tyler? Yeah, he is. He is, right, we'll have to wait a bit. Right, while, he, while we're waiting for someone slow to join the carriageway, you can see, can, right, one other setting we've got on here, Tyler, as well as if you revert it back to speed limit on the menu there, Tyler, what we can do is we can do percentage. So at the moment, we could do speed limit, actually, we're on fixed. So we could do plus two miles an hour if you just go up a bit, Tyler. So, so that will then should set it to. Now, it doesn't do it instantly, but if I was to cancel the cruise control and reactivate it, so if I just push it up, it's cancelled and reactivate it now it's taken so anything you change here you need to recycle the cruise control initialization oh and this car's pulled right in front of me look at this Tyler look at that driving so now we are right so our cruise control distance now if I we're quite close I find that a bit scarily close Tyler or yeah so let me just show you then let's get it back to seven and then what you'll do is you'll see us slow down to give a distance between the car in front. So there we go, it's going right. So that's a much safer distance. One thing I would like, on the Land Rover, it's much clearer when it's got radar lock. It would be good if they coloured that car once it's got like radar lock, if it made that car red. So you know then, just by glancing at the screen, that you're, you're in a radar lock situation. That would be cool. Right, let's come off at the roundabout here and make sure I've got all the other features. So we've done distance, we've done speed control, we've done cancelling by either putting the brake or pressing it down. We haven't looked at percentage yet, have we, Tyler? So, so if you just change that to percentage. So if at 10%, then if I, if I stop and reactivate, um, you'll see now it's gone 77, which is obviously the 70 mile an hour speed limit plus the 10%. Right, I'm going to exit the carriageway here. Let's go round the roundabout and let's, on the way back, let's think if it's, ah, right. What we will do now, we will go back and we will go back and we will look at how it copes with speed changes, the speed limit sign changes. There's a stretch of road where there are three sequential changes in speed limit. And this is where some of the problems or the limitations of the design that you need to be aware of come into play. Right, let's, I'll drive on. Right. One other thing I wanted to show you. So at the moment, so you can toggle. So at the moment the cruise is at 71. If I, sorry, at 61, if I change it. But now if I want to go back to the current speed, if I touch that, it goes back to the current speed. So you can toggle to speed limit to current speed, depending how you want to set it. Right, we're just coming off here and we're going to go into the, I'm going to show you the speed control um, and how it follows or doesn't follow the speed limit and you do need to be aware of this. Right, so we're just coming up to a 40 mile an hour limit here. 
Um, so we're on 50 at the minute, it should clock the 40. And now if I set it to 40 so I can activate the push down to activate the cruise control, it's at 40, that's all good. Now, as we drive along this road, there's this, we will see a 50 mile an hour speed limit. Now, you would have hoped or thought that it would change to the 50 when we get there. So we will keep watching, so it knows we're in a 40, we've got cruise control set, and maximum we can go is 40 as long as there's nothing in front of us, and our current speed is 40, so everything is fine. Now, obviously, if the speed limit was to go the other way, and we'll see this, if it went from 50 to 40, you would normally slow down before the speed limit arrives. Right, so there we go, we can see the 50, right, watch the screen as well. So the, it, will clock the, it will clock the speed limit, it sees the signs, it's changed to, but it doesn't change my speed. So even though we've got it set on speed limit, the car doesn't adjust. Now, it's simple enough, I can just, I can just give it a quick press down. Did it say press down for half a second? There you go, you press it down for half a second and it relearns and resets. So that's how you can do it. But the problem is now, what we'll do, we'll drive along the road a bit further and you'll see that we are gonna get back into a slower speed limit and that's when the problem occurs because if you're not paying ultra attention, if you're just happily letting the car drive your speed, you will speed as you go to a slower limit. Right, so we've got another change. We're going from 50 to an open limit. So it will seize the signs, goes to 60, but again, we're still at 50. I can leave it a while, it still knows. So it doesn't automatically change. Press down for half a second, there you go. It's learnt the 60, it'll get us to 60. Now, we are gonna hit a 40 mile an hour sign in a minute. Now, obviously, as you go into a 40 mile an hour sign, you are supposed to be doing 40 miles an hour as you pass that sign. So, you need to, one thing that if Tesla's gonna get autonomous driving sorted, they're gonna have to have good visibility of signs ahead because you need to change from 60, and you can go 60 to 30 in the UK, so you need to make sure. So you can see the 40 signs here, now what's gonna happen is the car is not gonna do anything. The car will see the 40 signs, but it it doesn't, I have to brake or I'm gonna be done for speeding on camera. But it doesn't change the cruise control. So you need to be very careful when you have the cruise control set to speed limit, it will not reduce your speed as you come into slower, slower speed zones. So do be careful with that. Um, and also, you can't do the relearning thing because if you're in a 60 and you can see a 40 coming up, if I press and hold this down for half a second, it's just gonna relearn to 60 until, so you, I, I can't see there's any way you can do it other than to deactivate the cruise control when you're going from one speed zone to a slower speed zone. So there we go. Um, it's good fun, it's excellent to use. I think Tesla are really cool to let you try these features for free, but I do think it could be improved.